Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a chart with conditional formatting. Now in Excel we have the ability to do some conditional formatting in cells. So if I go into the, uh, I think it's the data, no, maybe it's the home key. The home key, we go to conditional formatting, we can highlight cells with a range that are greater than, there's these other rules, these top and bottom ones where we can change the cell color or the font color based on some rules. We can also create these little data bars or color scales or icon sets. But there's not really a feature, uh, at least in 2007 in previous versions of Excel, where you can create conditional formatting for a chart. So let's say in this example, we've got these bars that represent the sales and anything, anytime that any of the sales go below a quota of 250, we want to show it in red and the other ones in green. So I have this uh, this data randomized, so I just have to press uh, Shift F9 or F9, and the data is randomized, and we can see here that there are the different uh, bar colors depending if it's below quota or above quota. So I'll show you how to create that. So what, what, what we need to do is, let me just bring this over, I'll just bring this this over. And uh, basically, I'll go ahead and delete this because that's really the what we need to do. So let's say, well, let's make our quota, um, let's make 500. And uh, this is a random randomizing f a formula here. Let's make it between uh, 1,000 and 100 and 1,000. And I'll do Control Enter and just drag that little fill handle across. So it'll copy the formulas across. Uh, let's see, I need to delete these and I'll show you the formula here. So what we need to do is basically create two rows. One for the actual data and one to show our data that falls below the quota. Let's say, So let's say in this first row we'll do equal sign uh, and an if statement. If this cell is less than uh, this cell and we want to make that an absolute reference because we're, we're going to copy it over so I just press the F4 key once and you got the dollar sign in front of the B in front of the one that makes an absolute reference it won't change when we copy it across now if that is less than the quota then I want to show that cell otherwise don't show anything uh, close that uh, control enter so we can stay in there and I'll go ahead and drag this across so now we see that 330 is less than 500 and so we'll show that there 462 is less than 500 we'll show that there the rest are above 500 and so we would have blanks so what I do is I'll go ahead and select this whole table and I like keyboard short shortcuts so I'll press alt F1 and it gives us the default chart that we have in here and the default chart I have is the uh, column bars and what I need to do is we see the sales below quota here we want to just overlap that to that so it basically cover it so I'd select that and we see that it's selected and I'll press control one and it'll bring up the format data series now all I just need to do is I want to overlap that bar column the red one over the blue one so I just make that 100 percent click close and there we have it so our uh, our data that is below 500 would show up in red. Uh, maybe for the blue ones, we want to ha have that one show up in green. So I'll go ahead and whoops. Let me click that and uh, format data series. Or I got to press Control One, fill uh, solid fill. Let's make that green. Uh, green is already selected here. And there we have our. Uh, little graph with conditional formatting. So I'll go ahead and press the Shift F9 key that calculates the whole sheet and we can see here that anytime it falls below 500 we will see this it in red and anything above 500 it's in green. Well there it goes, charting with conditional formatting. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.